Sabang is one of the most comfortable cities to live in Indonesia due to the friendly population and down-to-earth leaders and loved by its people. The city is known for the zero-kilometer monument, beautiful beaches and underwater. Led by the duo Nazaruddin Esikom and Dr. Randus Haji Suraji Yunus from 2017 to 2022. During their four years in office, the government has implemented a variety of pro-people and development programs in all sectors. With only a few months under its belt, this government faced the formidable challenge of organizing the biggest event ever held in Sabang. Sail Sabang 2017. Several fleets participated in this event, including KRI Bima Suchi's first visit to Sabang. The accomplishments in government administration are no less spectacular. For the ninth time in a row, Sabang has been labeled unqualified opinions by the National Audit Agency BPK. Sabang has maintained its city status by forming one or more sub-districts, namely Suka Makmur. The formation of this new sub-district has improved public services and the developments of rural villages in the city. For Nazaruddin S.E. Kom and Dr. Randus Haji Suraji Yunus, improving public health is the primary focus. In collaboration with UNICEF, the government provides a monthly allowance of 150,000 rupiah for each child to meet nutritional needs and prevent stunting. In a period of two years, this program has reduced the stunting rate from 26.5% to 13.2% in August this year. Another program is the Joint Movement for Safe and Complete Sanitation. Gerber Santum, which focuses on raising awareness for the community sanitation. The rate of open defecation in Sabang dropped significantly during this program, from 8.90% to only 1.39%. The pandemic did not kill the spirit of the mayor and deputy mayor of Sabang. Since 2020, various efforts have been made to reduce the spread of COVID-19 through the vaccination program and implementation of health protocols to support the rebuilding of tourism on the island. Sabang's economy is based on the tourism industry, which supports a variety of other industries including fisheries, agriculture and trade. Various micro, small and medium enterprises, such as souvenir shops, also increases as the number of tourists' visit rises. Since holding the office, the government of Sabang has launched scholarships every year for elementary and high school students amounting 2 million rupiah to purchase books and school materials. Scholarships are also given for Islamic boarding schools and college students from Sabang. The government also focuses on the developments of infrastructures. Among them is the prestigious project of International Hospital, which is scheduled to be completed in 2025. The construction of a sports arena is also being prepared to support the Acha North Sumatra 2024 National Sports Week and to provide better sports facilities for the public. The city is continuing to be renovated by building new stores. The Simpang Garuda Monument, the Mira Putih Tower and sidewalks across the city to create an organized, beautiful and comfortable living environment. The government's ability to lead the city has been acknowledged by Seven Media Asia's annual Figure Excellence Award this award was given to Nazaruddin S.E. Kom as a visionary leader with various innovation programs in regional development and community outreach. One of them is the Ganase, which is a pilot program that is implemented nationally. Achievements in the world of tourism are equally impressive. Anna Le Ut Tourism Village, one of Sabang City's villages, earned the BCA Tourism Village Award in the cultural category this year. 
Following on the footsteps of Anna La Ut, several other villages have begun to seriously explore their potential. Over the past five years, many improvements have been enjoyed by the community, including minor programs such as free electricity and gas, condolences, compensation for families, and fisheries programs. One thing is certain, every program from Mr. Nazaruddin Esikom and Dr. Randus Haji Suraji Yunus only has one goal, for the prosperity of the entire community of Sabah.